we have already learned that in a parallelogram opposite pair of sides are parallel so if we have a parallelogram let's say this one so what happens here is that if abc is a parallelogram opposite pairs are parallel that means your ab is parallel to cd and your ad is parallel to bc okay here we shall discuss the types of parallelogram there are three of course the first one is a rhombus r h o m b u s rhombus what happens in a rhombus rhombus is of course a parallelogram rhombus is of course a parallelogram and in a rhombus the all the sides are equal all the sides are equal so typically this is how a like, rhombus looks like so it's a parallelogram of course and all the sides are equal to all right that is about rhombus next one number 2 is your next type of parallelogram is rectangle now what happens in rectangle it is also a parallelogram because the opposite pairs are parallel and each of the angles is 90 so we all know a rectangle right so abc is a rectangle opposite pairs are of course parallel and each of these angles are 90 so what you can write here each angle is 90 okay now the third one number 3 is your square now square again is a parallelogram of course it's a parallelogram and here all sides are equal and all angles are 90 Now try to understand some logic. It is a parallelogram, and all angles are 90. That means a square is already a rectangle. I can say a square is a rectangle, right? A square is already a rectangle, but additionally, here all sides are equal also. Right? So all squares are rectangles, but all rectangles are not squares. okay so we will discuss the types of parallelogram we have to learn the differences between all these three rhombus rectangles and squares in terms of diagonals also we have discussed the difference in terms of sides and angles but in terms of diagonals also we have to learn the differences in the next video we shall learn that on